where I lived in London had somewhere like this. Uh, it's wonderful. I want to move my godchildren here, <laughs> and I know they will be thrilled to see the porcupines and uh, the meerkats and the fabulous pigs. <laughs> giant rabbits. Um, I've opened supermarkets and I've opened, um, I once opened a jar of pickles. <laughs> the hardest thing I've ever done, but I've never ever opened uh, a zoo stroke uh, animal farm. And this is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what to be able to say, except that I am prouder than a proud person on the International Day of Being Proud. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, watch my scissors. There you go. And I'm going to snip. And Are you ready? Snip. No! Yay! Yay! Um, we got Hattori, our porcupine, uh, last year. And we had him on a temporary basis while um, there was a court case going on. Um, and he hasn't been kept in very good conditions. Um, so we were sort of holding him. Um, thankfully, we got to keep him. Um, so what we really wanted to do was build him a purpose-built porcupine enclosure. So that is what we've done. He's in there very happily. Um, and we also wanted to get another animal, which is very popular, which is meerkats, because everyone loves meerkats. Um, and quite a few zoos have mixed them before, so um, we know that they will get on. We are planning to get a meet for him as well. So it would be lovely when he's got a girlfriend. Um, and then, yeah, he should be a very happy porcupine. Meerkats, we have a female, but we hope to get a male in soon and then we'll breed those up and hopefully have a group of about 8 to 12 at some point.